A diminishing natural resource continues to frustrate anglers, resorters, and the Minnesota DNR. Lake Mille Lacs was once among the most prolific walleye lakes in the country, with natural reproduction that would replace everything anglers were taking out. But a dramatic drop in the lake's walleye numbers has sharply dropped bag limits and had the governor pleading for a special legislative session. And as Bill Hudson explains tonight, a new bit of research may shed light on a major factor in the decline. When winter's ice melts into springtime waves, the mystery of Mille Lacs will again be in the news. Still stumping anglers and scientists is the lake's depleting walleye population. We can certainly learn a lot more about the lakes. So we can determine what the solution is. Brad Parsons is the DNR's central region fisheries manager. He says when the ice is gone this spring, biologists will strip 10 to 20 million eggs from the lake and grow them in this St. Paul hatchery. We mark them with a, uh, an antibiotic solution that actually puts kind of a little mark on their ear bone. That way we can tell what's naturally reproduced in the lake and what we had put into there. Almost immediately after they hatch, the marked fry will go back into the lake and grow into small fingerlings throughout the summer. It's very important that when we put these marked stock fry out there that they uh, behave like the wild fry do. So we want them in there at the same, same stage. The whole idea is to compare the stocked fry with the lake's naturally reproduced fish and maybe get some answers into why young walleye aren't surviving. With the marked ratio out there, we can determine the hatching success of natural eggs in the lake and we can determine the number of natural fry that are out there. Parsons says the exercise will not bolster the lake's walleye year class. Rather, it will give insight into why a once prolific lake is failing. And Bill says because Mille Lacs walleye are a unique strain, the DNR can't use eggs from any other lake. They hope to have their first glimpse at the data when they recapture the fingerlings in early fall.